In this video, we will walk through getting started with Azure Logic Apps. Azure Logic Apps allows users to create automated workflows and use connectors to easily integrate with other applications. Here is a Logic App that we have already deployed. We can use the Logic App Designer to build out our application with an easy to use interface. This is currently a blank Logic App and we can choose from various triggers integrating HTTP calls, Twitter, O365, Service Bus, and many others. There are also pre-built templates that we can get started with right away. We're going to choose this template so that we can start building out our Logic App. Now we can start building out our Logic App. Let's say that we want to connect to an RSS news feed. I'm first going to choose the schedule connector and set it as an interval of every three minutes. Then I'm going to add the RSS connector. Now I can choose this RSS connector, list all feed items, and set the feed URL here. Now that this action is listing all of the RSS feed items, I actually need to have a for loop to iterate through each feed item. I choose the body from the RSS feed items, and I can rename my for each connector so the purpose is more clear. This RSS feed is pulling from different South Korean news sources. I want to be able to translate the title and summary for each RSS feed item to English so that we can analyze the feed. We can add an action and notice how this action is still within the for each loop. Search for translate and we can see that there is a Microsoft translator connector. There are various actions that we can choose from we are going to choose a translate text action. Here we can just specify the text that we want to translate. And we can actually choose from dynamic objects that we populated from the previous actions. So here we can see the feed title. I want to set my target language to English. And also rename the connectors to something that's more indicative of what we're doing. I just added the same action, but instead of translating the title, here we're also translating the summary. By adding this text translation connector actions, I'm connecting to a Cognitive Services account and sending the title and summary to the Cognitive Services Text Translation API. Now I want to structure my data and customize it. I'm adding the Compose connector which is actually going to allow us to form a JSON object using the elements from our RSS item. In input, we have pasted the structure of the JSON that we want. For summary, I'm going to choose the translated text from our summary action above. And for the title, I'm also going to choose the translated title output from the action above. As you can see, this is a valid JSON object and I've defined it right here in this box by assigning the dynamic objects from previous actions as values. Now that we have structured our data, we want to write it somewhere. This is where the Cosmos database connector comes in handy. As we can see, the Cosmos database connector offers various actions such as creating or updating a document, deleting a document, getting documents, or querying documents. In this case, I want to be able to write each of my RSS feed items as a document into my database. So I will choose this action, name my connection, and we can see that it has already populated with the different Cosmos DB accounts it has found. We will choose this Cosmos database account. And now we are connected to that database account. We can choose the database, the collection, here we can actually insert the output of the compose operation where we have structured our data into a JSON. So far we have connected to an RSS feed and for each RSS item we have translated it and written it to our Cosmos database. Now let's say that I want to listen in on this feed for news about Azure. I can add this condition connector which is basically acting as an if statement. I can define a condition if the translated summary 
contains the word Azure. Then I want to send myself an email with this article. We have our Office 365 Outlook connector. And one of the actions that I can choose from is send an email. We have now connected to our Outlook. I'm going to send an email to this address with the subject being logic app alert. For the body of the email, I want to send the translated title and the translated summary. Now we can click save. Now that we've built our logic app, let's try running it. We can click run right here. If we navigate to the overview section, we can see the runs history. Here we already see that a run has succeeded. By clicking on the run, we can actually review it and see all of the inputs and outputs for each step. Here we can see the items that were pulled from our RSS feed. We can see there are 50 items pulled. Then we can see that the title and summary were translated from Korean to English. Our JSON object was composed successfully. We were also able to insert our document into our Cosmos database. I've navigated to the Cosmos database that we were connected to in our Logic app to check if our documents were written successfully. Here we can see all of the documents that have been populated from our Logic app. Here we can see I have received an email from our Logic app workflow with the title and the summary. We can see that Azure has been a keyword in our summary. We have just walked through our Logic App workflow and seen each step completed successfully. And we were able to create this workflow in a matter of minutes. Now let's look at another use case. I wanna build a workflow that ingests Twitter data. If I navigate to Twitter and search hashtag Azure, I can see the related tweets and posts. Now let's look at how we can do this from a Logic App workflow that we have already created. This app has a Twitter trigger and is listening for a tweet to be posted containing hashtag Azure, essentially the same thing that we just did manually. Now we want to translate these tweets to English using the text translator connector. I also want to detect the sentiment of these tweets, so I added the sentiment analysis connector, which is sending the text directly to the text analytics API. I will receive a score in between 0 to 1, 0 being negative, 1 being positive. Then I have an Azure function that is actually making a call to the text analytics API to retrieve the key phrases from the tweet. I also have some custom code in my function that is parsing the data received from the call. Now that we have all these data points, we can write to a Power BI streaming data set. This Power BI connector allows us to connect to a workspace and a data set. We can see the fields for the data schema, which we set when creating our data set. Now let's say my team wants to be notified for negative tweets. I can set an if condition so that whenever a sentiment analysis score of a tweet has a sentiment of less than 0.3, it will be posted into a team's channel. When we navigate to our Teams channel, we can see that the negative tweets have been posted through the Logic App workflow. I've navigated to the Power BI dashboard that we have been writing to from our Logic App. From this report, we can see the exact rows we have written to our data set. We have the key phrases that we extracted, the location of the tweet, the sentiment score, as well as a tweet text. We have also built some visualizations from the data set so that we can track the average sentiment as well as geomap the tweet data. This graph is showing us the average sentiment score. This is telling us the count of tweet text by location. And this visualization is actually showing us the number of tweets being tweeted from each location and the average sentiment. The lighter the color, the lower the sentiment. In this video, we have walked through how to create a Logic App workflow from scratch, as well as a popular Twitter sentiment analysis use case. We highly encourage that you navigate to the Azure portal and start working with Logic Apps today.